past term we've had the opportunity to deliver support groups across a couple of different secondary schools including Building Resilience, Let's Talk Anxiety and Let's Talk Self-Harm. These groups offer a safe space for young people to be able to explore these topics and meet other young people who are struggling with similar things. We've also delivered our Year 9 programme called RISE which looks at relationships, identity, self-esteem and educated choices. Throughout this, we're able to remind the young people that they have value, that they have worth. In all of this, we've continued our one-to-one -one mentoring as well, being able to help young people who are facing tough and difficult situations and being able to offer them hope. This term, we delivered the It's Your Move workshop in 14 primary schools, which is approximately 480 students who received that session. We also ran our after school transition programme for those who were particularly anxious about secondary school or needed a little bit of extra support. 35 children from Hitchin Primary Schools attended these sessions and one parent told us, my son left each session feeling more confident, less anxious about year seven and having made loads of new friends. It was amazing to see these children grow in confidence over the sessions and to see them walking around their new secondary schools confidently and happily on transition day. Hi, it's Kieran here. Uh, I'm here in the boys' school today. It's Step Up Day, which is the transition day where all the year sixes uh, from all across the town come to their secondary school. And as a team, we've been working across all three secondary schools to help and support in that day. It's been a fantastic year. It's been one that's felt most normal, especially over the last few. And one of the things we've been doing a lot and being really intentional about uh, this year, and especially this term, is detached. And detached is where we uh, stroll around at break and lunchtime, connecting, reconnecting with young people to talk to them in their own space. Just this week, I sat and had a conversation with a young person who was worried about summer. They sat and told me about the options and the ideas before, and we talked through it. And at the end of it, as the bell went, they headed off to science, they turned and they said, thank you so much. This space of detached and reconnecting with young people is so key about building their well-being and resilience. I want to say thank you because you make that possible. Uh, and so we hope you have a wonderful summer. We wish you all the best and we look forward to sharing more about our plans uh, for next year as phase turn 20, uh, not just about how we celebrate that, but all the plans we've got with working with children and young people to build their well-being and resilience to see them thrive. Thank you.